Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zia and we are back again. This is part two. Daddy? Oh hi, sorry, it's me. <laughs> I am Komoto. Komoto again. <laughs> sorry, I was I was in the I was in the woods. I cannot. <laughs> so basically this is part two and it's our last um, segment when it comes to um, hygiene. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna be talking about menstrual cycles. Period. Basically everything around period. Okay. Yeah, so let's get this video started. So question number one. Mm -hmm. What happens to our bodies when we start our period? And is that the reason why we get cramps? Okay. So when you start your, your period is basically basically your body saying you're not pregnant. <laughs> That's like the telltale sign. So Clean bill of health. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a, you know, you know, you. Are are you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so what happens is, um, so throughout the throughout your menstrual cycle, so the normal days. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> so all 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 the the other days, um, the twenty. 24 to 28 days your body is preparing for pregnancy so when you come of age your body is preparing for you to have a child what a setup <laughs> <laughs> at a particular age your body is like okay you are ready to conceive oh, well. <laughs> you are ready to conceive and to prepare itself for conception mm -hmm. It will your 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 uterus, which is the no, no. Yes, I'm right. Okay. <laughs> the lining of your uterus thickens. Okay. It thickens so that when an egg is released and fertilized, it can land nicely on fertile ground, and it will create a perfect place for your baby to grow. The soil. <laughs> the soil. So it's like, it's it's preparing the soil so that when the egg lands, it's like yes. I like this place, I can grow and be wow. happy. <laughs> so what happens with your period is, now the egg is not fertilized. Mm -hmm. The egg was released, it sits in the Philippian tubes for a few hours, nothing comes. So it also releases, it decreases actually. Mm -hmm. Your estrogen and your progesterone levels actually dip. And when that happens, the lining, so that's how the lining that, okay, we don't really need to be this great right now <laughs> because no one is using this. <laughs> so the lining sheds. Oh. And when the lining sheds, when your uterine lining sheds, it comes out as blood. Okay. That is really just it. I've never had a detailed description of what happens mm. when your period starts. Like at school, we never got that. I think they kind of did. I don't know if I if I learned some more. Did, did you do bio, first of all? No. Yes. So they kind of told us what happened. You see, when you do bio. Yeah. I feel like we well, life to sciences. Know. It's called life sciences. That's what that. Yeah. Bio was actually before us. I just want to put it out there. Bio was before us. It was bio. Yeah. Biology. Biology. It was life sciences when we were doing it. Okay. Yes, it was life sciences. So in life science class, I think from grade 10 upwards, yeah. you get a, a detailed um, understanding of what happens. Don't you think they should have like a, a detailed description for everybody? Oh no, definitely. Because so to, to give you an understanding of what is happening to your body, it's your body. And it happens to every female. Exactly. It's not a select. It's not only the kids in life sciences. No. It happens to everyone. <laughs> everyone. So everyone should actually know what is happening with their bodies. The egg that was released was not fertilized. And as a result, the body no longer needs the thick lining. But they want to fertilize the egg. That's the problem. They want to fertilize <laughs> the egg. So you see, we need to have classes for mm. everybody. Mm. Okay, so is that the reason why we also get like period pains? Period. No. So, um, the period pains are caused by hormonal changes. So because the hormones are changing, other things are released as well. But so your prostaglandins. 
Yeah, that's a good question. What a tough question. Prepare. <laughs> I'm back in nursing school. Imagine, after passing, then you find this. A board exam. <laughs> a board exam. <laughs> Because I want the kids to know, so we can limit the pregnancy. <laughs> Actually, a teenage pregnancy is a big concern. It in is. Our it's a really in our country, in our province. Yo. It's it's sad. It's too too much. Too much. So yeah, yo. People get bored and then they get bored. And I mean, is it boredom? Is that I, entertainment? Is sex? Is sex I feel like it is. Some of them say it's entertainment because they're bored. Even with people who have like a it lot takes, of kids. I don't, I don't know how long. How long does sex last? Like 15, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So when are you entertained for twenty minutes <laughs> and you're okay? Instant gratification is amazing. It's a real thing. Yeah. And the hormones that get released, I guess, and yeah. you feel like all kind of okay. Okay. endorphins. Yeah. We go get it. Fifteen minutes, you're okay. And then. <laughs> Yo, 15 years. <laughs> so it's, uh, don't do it. Okay, do it, but do it knowing the implications. Yes. Do it knowing the implications. So the period pains are not for everyone, mm -hmm. okay? Um, unfortunately, I feel like everyone should have them. Why? Because I have them. I have them, they're horrible. They I don't want people to experience it. No, I want people to experience it because when you say you have pure pains, it's like, ah, you acting up. Yeah, they it's don't like, know. Yeah, they don't understand what it is that goes on. <laughs> it's like labor pains. It is Honestly, bad. I was telling my it mom. It is bad. I was like, it's like labor pains. I've never experienced labor pains. I explained pain. it to my boyfriend. I said, it feels like there's like little evil minions yes. inside me and they keep tearing up everything. Like, Vandalizing my uterus. It feels like someone's doing this. Yeah, it's like a jaw. It's like a jaw inside yeah, your body. It's bad. No, yeah, no. I feel like everybody should get it. That's so that they are. No, they rather say that no one must get it. Because it's such a horrible thing. But then when you experience labor pains. Yeah, then you're in labor. You, it's great at the end because your baby comes out and you're happy. Yeah, this is not great because yeah. nothing comes out. <laughs> Just blood. And <laughs> <laughs> so the period pains, unfortunately, because our bodies react differently, and the intensity is also different. Yes. There's people who get cramps. They're just like, oh. Yeah, and then some of us lie. And then down. some of us like, oh. <laughs> I think my last one before I actually went on treatment, I was thinking I should get admitted. It was that bad. Is it? So I went to a gynae after that, and I was checked out, and I was given new contraceptives that are helping me. Okay. Helping me substantially. Not your years and years my Um, it's the same, but it's not the same. Someone clearer, something called clearer. Oh, I've heard of that one before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sorry. So the period pains, um, because our bodies are different and there's different things that are happening. Um, I'm a prostaglandins, so that the blood can come out. Your uterus needs to contract. Okay. But the pain is not from the contraction. Okay. The pain is because when your uterus is contracting. In order for it to contract, it needs to cut off blood supply. Yeah. So if it's not get, if your uterus is not getting blood supply, the oxygen supply is also cut off. That is painful. That is like a brain. Yeah. That that is like you. Literally. Imagine if you were to lose blood. Yeah. Blood, what would you do? That if is, you were if your oxygen supply was cut off, you'd be like, <gasps> and your uterus does the thing, <gasps> trying to get air. <laughs> it's having an asthma attack. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> It's just like I can't breathe. So because I can't breathe, it's like fighting. So the contraction is not what's causing the pain. That, that is not fair. It really is it's such it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Okay. So you say one thing, it's really more, yeah. <laughs> not fair. For you to oxygen. Yeah, Feed just give me oxygen and I'll be okay. That's what's happening. Okay, now I understand. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make it better. It doesn't. No, the explanation doesn't make it better. No, it doesn't because there's nothing you can do at that moment because you just like... You can take painkillers and I saw there's a patch now for... Cramps? Yeah. <gasps> I was trying to remember who made that patch. It's a well-known uh, pharmaceutical company. What? It's a patch, you put it there and you like enjoy. I think it's, it serves the same purpose as, you know, do you use a hot water bottle? Yes. So, yeah, I think it heats up that area. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, what the heat does is lessen the contraction. Less uh, contraction. Does it like more oxygen flow? Kind of like, uh, what's this? Um, 
release blood in a way it's like forced release no, not forced release so if if the if the contraction is not as strong mm-hmm. then more blood flows to the uterus okay. and then more oxygen is carried by the blood less pain okay get more hot, hot patches hot, po- hot yeah. bottle bottles yeah. or hot patches or whatever yeah. it Please. is yeah we'll find out where to get those patches yeah. and we'll link them in the awesome. description box for you guys mm-hmm. yes and question number two is yes what Okay, between tampons and pads, which of the two is better? Better. Um, I mean, they both have their pros and cons. Yes. Pads are better mm-hmm. because um, the tampons <laughs> cause toxic shock syndrome sometimes. But, um, so, so because also you're inserting it inside your body, mm-hmm. then chances are you're also letting in bacteria. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a foreign body. Yeah. So with pets, it's easier. They are more irritating. I hate them. I hate them. They stink sometimes, yeah. depending on the brand. And you hear the shh, 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 sometimes. And I mean, there's something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always worried, you know. Um, when my brother got married, I was on my period. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the dress was very thin material. Mm. I can't remember what it was. And my pad was bulging, like at the back. It was... And then I don't know how I sat, and then it rolled. So the flap at the back. Yeah, it does not mm. Now I'm walking around with this <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah, I think I stopped using pads then. Stopped. I was like, no, this is not for me. Yeah, no, it's I not my portion. I can't use pads. I, I and everyone knows you're in your beards because you don't be there. <laughs> Not cute. You have a man vagina. Now you have a man vagina. <laughs> like the, the camel toe of all camel toes. <laughs> Not cute. Not cute at all. But, but pads are better in the sense that they're not being introduced into your body. I can understand that one time um, in my younger days. Mm-hmm. I actually forgot that I had a pad in. Yes. A tampon or a pad? A tampon is yes. inside of me and then I put another tampon <gasps> in. <laughs> wow. I put another tampon in. So when I was taking the one out, the other one's already full, but I couldn't feel it. Yes. That's the nice That's thing about tampons. You, yes. can't, feel you it. can't feel it. Mm. I couldn't feel it. So when I was taking the one out that I actually put in, yes. that I remembered that I put in, and, the other one and then the other one was like, oh, and I'm just like, <laughs> Okay. How? How? Yeah, no. I, I, I actually had to take out a tampon from someone. <laughs> so we were, sw- we were swimming and she didn't know. So I gave her a tampon. I was like, if you want to swim with us, then you can use the tampon. <laughs> then she just put the thing inside and I, I should have given her details. Yeah. So afterwards, she's like, well, I want to take this thing out, but I can't reach it. I'm like, no, there's a string. Just pull the string. And she's like, there's no string. <laughs> And yeah, well, I mean, we reached in there. <laughs> Minor <Yeah>. surgery. <laughs> just a young, <laughs> just a young, I was called for this, clearly. You were. No, I'm putting on tempo. No, but like, really, you were. <laughs> Honestly, like, if I can remember. I've mm-hmm. always been the girl. Always been that girl. <laughs> so I did that, yeah. Okay, um, so what about menstrual cups? What about menstrual cups? Are they safe to use? Um, so they're safe because they don't go deep. Like, like the tampon. They don't go as deep as the tampon. You literally just have to have it in the mouth of your vagina. But how does it vagina work? Mouth. Like, how? <laughs> don't know. Just put it in. We should have had the, the vagina. Actually, yeah. You know, we should have had that. Yeah, the <laughs> illustration. <laughs> Just draw a vagina when you when you edit this. Put a vagina. Yes, I'll I'll, I'll give you a visual of the so, vagina. So the, there's a lot of cons. So maybe we'll talk about the pros and cons. Yes. The pros are, I mean, you don't have to buy it every month. Okay. Because it's reusable. Oh. You just rinse it out and then you pop it back in. Does it have like a a thing that keeps the blood in? No, it's like it's a cup. It's like a little rubber cup. So what happens to... So you put the cup and it's just like this in your vagina and all the blood collects into the cup. And then you'll take it out, rinse it out and put it back in. I don't think I'll I'll be able to use that. I hate blood. 
So that's the other thing. So that kind of could get very bloody. Yeah, this blood. Those are the cons. That could get very bloody. And it is a little uncomfortable because you're walking around with a thing inside you. <laughs> and look, a tampon, um, when you put it incorrectly, yes. it's not no. an no. Um Also because it's it's cotton wool. Yeah. Like, so this is rubber. <laughs> So you're walking around with with rubber, so it's not very comfortable. But I think in an economy like ours and a country that doesn't yeah. want to give us free pants, yeah. that could be. But these are free condoms because sex is a must have, and periods are by choice. Yeah, it, it, you it know, makes no sense. If 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 pads and tampons were free, this wouldn't be a thing that we need. Yeah. But because it's something that you can reuse, you just literally have to rinse it out and put it back in. Oh, but then you find those untidy people. Then they're not cleaning it properly and they keep reintroducing things into their body. Wow. I think the government must just make um, things like pads and tampons free. Yeah. And I the fact that we pay time. so much money. And for, they are so expensive. They're very expensive. Ten in a country that is quite poor. Yeah. yeah. You know, if we talk about, if we are being honest, South Africa is not that rich. Yeah. <clears throat> and people. I mean, we what's the, what, don't we have the highest unemployment rate? Yes. So all those people. Yeah. And that's why they keep on having babies also. Okay. Yeah, because I'm sure that's means. So you get like, bored. Yes. yes. Like you said, they get bored. And I mean, I, it's just, yeah. <laughs> but if there was a way of, of really just curbing that. Yeah. So that imagine in a country that has such a, a high unemployment rate mm. and you still expect them to buy things yeah. like pads for something that they don't have control over. They can't help it. And the thing is also our pads are not the same like with the brands. Yes. Mm. They're yes. not the same. The more expensive brands are healthier or yeah, like they just better. better. They, they just feel better. They better. feel better. Yes. They, yeah. And then the less expensive brands, so, the ones that you find. I remember, I think maybe in my early days of menstruation, I asked someone for a pad. I don't know. Like, I don't want to shame any yeah. brand. But whatever I used, so it, whatever was, so it's the, the top layer, the tissue or the cotton the cotton that they put in the in the second layer mm-hmm. by the time that I, I went to the bathroom that entire layer was like bits and pieces inside so so this top layer became see-through like because transparent and then the, inside the friction, there because of the friction yes so probably because of the way I was sitting yeah. and walking and now my pad is like three <laughs> four different parts I, we don't deserve that we, I, I mean, we, we didn't choose to no, be prepared. No. And now we also have to struggle and with And we also didn't that. choose to be female. Female. True. And the, the, the things that come with being a female, you know. And coming from a family that can't afford also, it's, yeah. Sad. It's very sad. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but next question. Yeah, let's not get too deep into yeah. that. <laughs> next question is: Do tampons cause um, TSS? Toxic, toxic shock, shock syndrome. syndrome. Yes, toxic shock. So syndrome. toxic shock syndrome. It's like a tongue twister thing. <laughs> toxic shock syndrome. Toxic shock. <laughs> toxic shock syndrome. Oh, I wouldn't get it. <laughs> the second time we would be over. Okay. <laughs> so with toxic shock syndrome. It's, it's, it's a complication, toxic shock syndrome is a complication of other um, infections. Okay. So what tampons can do, like I said before, because you are putting this foreign object inside your body, mm-hmm. inside a cavity in your body, and also such a sensitive cavity yeah. in your body, you are likely to introduce things into your body. And that is why it is one of, a, one of the reasons why it... it actually happens that's why it's one of that's why using tampons is the cause, the cause of tss so but i mean I like it it's more convenient yeah like, you can do a you lot can of do splits you can <laughs> gym you can you can do anything with the tampon yoga pilates not a pad where it's wear whatever wear white pants and not worry about guys, the lines the pad is just like heat in there you like it's like you're steaming. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like you're steaming, but you're not really steaming. Just steaming there. And when you take down your underwear, it just goes oof. Yeah. 
I cannot. <laughs> so, I mean, we love tampons, but yeah, sure, if there was like a safer way, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I, I get you. So, yeah, unfortunately, they are one of the causes. It's rare, thank goodness. TSS is quite rare. Okay. But the one time that it does happen, it needs to be treated quite quickly. What happens when you it can have be it? fatal? So, you'll have basically um, a lot of people when you have any kind of sepsis or an infection, because TSS can also happen when you. Let's say you went for an operation mm -hmm. and let's say the wound wasn't closed properly okay. and then it gets an infection. Oh. So because of that infection, it can lead to toxic shock syndrome. So fever is the number one thing okay. that you notice um, when a person has an infection, any infection, from yeah. the flu, yeah. COVID, yeah. Yeah. tummy checking temperatures. Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> she just... You had to throw that in, right? Yeah, no, I had to because I had <laughs> diarrhea. Just. So you're just like, diarrhea. Diarrhea. Pam is living through some PTSD issues. Because <laughs> it was terrible, no. Diarrhea is terrible. It's terrible. But fever. No, 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 but it's not as bad as COVID. Not as bad no. as COVID. No. Diarrhea any day over COVID. <laughs> yes. I will not relive that. No. No way. No. So people, please get vaccinated. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, Zee. This was not sponsored by Yeah, no. Ones. This is just from us. <laughs> Get your vaccine. Please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yes. Where were we? We even lost track. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about this is what happens with our conversations. We'll literally be talking about something super important and then something like a thousand dumb. topics later. We're like, this is not what we're no. talking about. But that's the, the beauty of our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> so, TSS. Yes. You said when a, a wound becomes sepsis and then whatever goes in there. So, so TSS is, is fatal and so it can kill you basically. And it's a complication of another infection or other infections. <sighs> when those infections are like compounded, mm -hmm. then they can cause the toxic shock syndrome. Because your body's just like overwhelmed. <laughs> Yeah, like you. <laughs> and yeah, again, now it's hard for your body to fight it off when it's that serious or when it's that bad. Oh, okay. Well, guys, be careful with yeah. everything, literally. So, uh, my next question is what are some of the concerns when it comes to irregular periods? Irregular periods, the first concern is infertility. Why are you looking at me like, why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's my, the first, the first, um, Concern when yeah. you have irregular periods, then when you are ready to have a child, you then get worried, or it might be harder mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. to to conceive. So your normal periods are telling you normal periods are exactly that are telling you that everything is normal, mm -hmm. everything is healthy. It's just that an egg wasn't fertilized this month. But if they are irregular, then when it's time for you to conceive as well, you might have problems because. You don't know when you ovulated, yeah. Or you might think you ovulated now, and then your period doesn't come because that's not when you are ovulating. So your body it's harder for you to conceive. That's the main issue. Okay, what causes your period to be irregular? Um, a lot of things: hormonal changes, um, endometriosis. What's endometriosis? Endometriosis. <laughs> endometriosis. <laughs> endometriosis. Endometriosis. So, okay. endo. Endo. Um, endo. Endometrium. Okay. Your endometrium is a particular layer of your uterus. Okay. So, when that layer is inflamed, it's harder for your uterus to function properly. Why is it inflamed? Because, yo, guys, our bodies are super complex, eh? Like, our bodies are so intense. I mean, they're amazing. I love the human body. I love anatomy. It's super fascinating I just like how our bodies works. can just actually fend for themselves, but also need that extra help. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, endometriosis, it's, it's anything in a, no, actually, let me not complicate it, but it's an inflammation. Okay. of that particular layer of your uterus and it has a lot of other causes you have to have a whole youtube that's what i'm saying we should actually have a section where we talk about different yes. viruses yes. and infections we're definitely gonna do that because sometimes there's people that also think utis are stis mm. and they're scared to mm. say mm. you I know i have sex and then i think i had and you you probably it probably was the cause of that. Yeah. Because of the friction, you can get a, a UTI. But it's not an STI. Don't be 
scared, people. Don't be scared. Yeah, and actually, don't even be scared when you do get an STI yeah. because there's treatment for most of them. Unfortunately, <laughs> for most of them, not the other ones. <laughs> Ish, there's the really horrible ones. So, so the main um, the main concern is definitely um, infertility. It could be other things, like I said, a virus mm -hmm. or an infection mm -hmm. that is causing that. But your main thing would be like, would you be able to fall pregnant if there's such inconsistency? In your, in yeah. Your yeah. 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 And that's why regular checkups are important. Um, yeah, regular checkup checkups are very important. Having a guy that you can trust, that you are. What's able. regular? Um, you know what? If you don't have any problems in that area, so if your periods are regular, for mm -hmm. instance, um, you haven't had any infections, regular discharge, mm -hmm. normal discharge, then just once a year, just to check that everything is fine. Okay. And obviously, the pep smears. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know that I have irregular periods mm -hmm. and I would go for months without seeing my period and it's just like okay it's like a, a normal thing. I don't even get scared anymore because I'm just like what am I supposed to do? I've been on contraceptives mm -hmm. to help push Regular them out. Thing. Exactly. And it works for however long it was yes. prescribed for and then after it just like goes back to being irregular. Because then your body also gets used to whatever you're putting in it. That's why regular checkups are important to so maybe alter the medication, okay. to change the contraceptive, maybe. all those things. It's all hormonal. It's all really hormonal. Do you think my anemia also plays a, a role in? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I always just like chuck it up to that. <laughs> but that's not the. But get regular checkups. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh. yeah, because when the time comes and we want the tools. I want a baby! <laughs> And when we want little Zias, we don't want you going through hectic efforts. To yeah, do that. and I'm just like, we're so sad. About mm. it. And it's not nice. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's I've such seen stories of people who are trying to conceive and it's just like so hard. Yeah, no, okay. So, I'll, I'll. If it's avoidable, then. Yeah. If it's avoidable for you to be going through the treatments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Injections and tablets. It's quite hectic. It is. It's quite hectic. I, I, I have a few friends that are trying. It's. It takes a toll on you. Definitely. And you miss out on the, the excitement. The excitement. Yeah. And the, yeah. And the joy of yeah. pregnancy because you're trying so hard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll Sorry. do that. What are some of the causes of ovarian cysts? Um, so a lot of the hormones, mm -hmm. because hormones basically control almost everything. So if there's too little or too much of something, that's when you'll be able to detect that something is wrong. Okay. So hormones play a big role in um, the formation of cysts. Um, sometimes a, a duct is blocked. What's a duct? A duct. <laughs> a tube. Okay. So we have a lot of different tubes that carry different things to the hormones. So if one of those ducts okay. or one of those tubes that are transporting other hormones. Mm. Yes, other hormones, transportation, or blood, or something. If these, if those get blocked, then the cyst can form because of that. Okay. So those are um, they are blocked by things like trauma. Let's say you get hit, mm. um, you are in an accident, and it affects your your reproductive system. Um, uh, an infection, some infections, some STIs are brutal. You can literally lose your entire system because of an infection. Yeah, yeah. So those are some of the causes. Infections, blocked ducts because of trauma and hormones. Whew. Well, guys, well, 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 You're not trying to get this out here? No. <laughs> no. So um, to our next question that almost covers the same thing. Mm. What causes um, polycystic, um, what is it? or very system what syndrome polycystic, polycystic ovarian what polycystic polycystic oh, polycystic yes. polycystic polycystic so ovarian. poly yes um i'll syndrome. just break it down poly is usually a lot of things you know when you say poly mm -hmm. i just remember yeah <laughs> poly, no. so 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 polycystic means many cysts oh, okay that's basically, basically what it is. Oh. Many cysts, ovarian on the ovary, and a syndrome is a is a condition. Yeah. So it's a condition where there's multiple of them. More than one. I don't two because more than one 
is is yeah true and then you get very large yes so the cause unfortunately is not known so experts obviously think it's things like hormones again basically the same things that would cause your other cysts Mm -hmm. in the ovaries is what causes this but polycystic ovarian syndrome is actually very serious and it's actually very bad so i think that's why um it's still a puzzle and our last question for today is um could you please kindly explain to the kids what happens when you are ovulating the kids the kids guys <laughs> the kids mm. because i feel like everyone becomes a kid when it comes to of that of course they it's just like i don't understand what happens or they don't know when they're ovulating okay. or they're just ignorant okay. so i just want them to understand what happens during the time and that causes you to catch a baby it's catching baby baby to families. <laughs> so it's a problem. Ovulation is basically when an egg is released from your ovary. Yes. Your ovary releases an egg. The egg goes and chills by the fallopian tube for like twelve to twenty four hours. It's like this. Waiting for some action. It's just like <laughs> like we have, you know, somebody see me, I'm out here, you know, catch me. <laughs> catch me outside. How about this? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so so the egg will the egg will get released by the ovary mm-hmm. and then it will go to the fallopian tube. So those are two tubes that yes. are yes carrying the egg into the uterus. So it'll stay by the fallopian tube and it'll wait for a sperm. Wait, you know those tubes look like a heart. Yeah, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> but dumb. <laughs> So it will turn in one of the, the sides of the heart. It will tell there and it will wait for somebody to come and fertilize it. The swimmer. The swimmer. Yeah. So if there's no sperm coming to fertilize it, then there's no pregnancy, it will go down, mm-hmm. it will be straight. But the fertile window is those 12 hours. It's usually in between, roughly in between. you. So about... 10 to 14 days before your period your period which is about 10 to 14 days after your yes. period do you get that so around then maybe if you're not ready to catch maybe use protection yes your period. <laughs> on the sheet abstain <laughs> two or three days no i don't want to i've got a headache whatever people say i've got a headache you can't <laughs> <laughs> Fake a headache if you're not ready to catch because in that time, you know, very fertile, very, very fertile. It's your fertile window because the egg is just waiting during those hours mm-hmm. um, or during those days, rather. It's waiting by the Philippine tube, waiting to be caught, and it's ready. Ooh, it touches a move. Basically, Ta- I'm telling you, if something just goes away, <laughs> just greeting it, you can't even greet that egg because it's just like. So so um but with ovulation some people experience cramps. Yes. Some people experience experience ovulation cramps. Then you just like okay. Maybe it's just the ache, just you know, changing positions. Do you eat more of when you like ovulating? Uh different strokes, different folks. Different strokes for different folks. Okay y'all, that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed our video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe, get the bell notification on. And Khamut is going to be back again for another segment. I liked this. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys for watching.